Hello and welcome. My name is Diana and this is the Death Pile Diva Show. And guess what? I am the Death Pile Diva. On this show, I interview resellers and I give them advice about their death piles. Today, I am joined by Nicole. And by the way, this is my very first guest, very first interview. Welcome, Nicole. Yay! Hello! <laughs> Thank you I'm so honored. much for being here. I am honored to be the first one. <laughs> I know, like it's it's exciting for both of us. <laughs> right. Wonderful. Now you on, let me see, I know on Instagram, you are Posh Envy. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I'll be Posh Envy Photography, but I cut the photography part out. I was wondering, because I was like, am I crazy? No. Okay. That, thank you for saying that. <laughs> I <tricked laughs> and, <some. laughs> yeah. Really? And on Poshmark, you are? Poshmark, I used to be Envy Photography. I'm now Shop with Envy. Ooh. And I love, cause also just people probably can't hear, like she's not saying, well, it's clever because it's NV, but it's her initials N V. So right? just, I love, I love puns. I love all of <laughs> Awesome. So I know just a little bit of how you got started in reselling. I believe your closet collapsed. <laughs> it did. I can send you pictures of this. If you I would like. love that. Yes. yes. So like November of 2022, I was collecting more clothes because I lost 36 pounds. So I needed more clothes. And um, and so one day I heard a loud noise. My daughter looked downstairs, thought it was like something in a garage. We looked everywhere, didn't know what the noise was. And then when I was going to bed, I was opening my closet. I'm like, oh, my closet collapsed. So I may have to get Here's rid the of noise. the clothes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So that's, and then did you already know about reselling and Poshmark or like, was it a new territory? I yeah, I did. A couple of my friends um, were already sellers on Poshmark. So I used their little code and I just added, you know, started adding my items. And that was right in the very beginning that live shows were oh prominent. So everybody was doing share shows and I was just adding my stuff in there and you know, as much as I could during my work week, um, you know, during lunch, I'd go on share shows after work, going on share shows. And I sold a lot of items. That's awesome. So, yeah. And then I was like, I love this. I love thrifting. I'm going to go thrift, you know, the thrill of the hunt and mm -hmm. rest is history. <laughs> I've already right. been to the podcast. <laughs> um, I went to the Posh Party Live and was a closet consultant. And it's mm -hmm. just been crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, such a it is amazing how like you go from being not a reseller to like a reseller overnight. And it's just like that's who you are now, right? Like the money, the stars in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. So what do you usually sell and what on, on what platforms? Um, I sell on eBay and Poshmark. And I don't know if you heard about curtsy. Yes. So go on there and I've, I've sold maybe I'd say about 21 items on curtsy, but I just started like six months ago. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No curtsy. And for those who don't know, if you are on Poshmark, there is no reason not to be on curtsy. You literally like download the curtsy app, hit import from Poshmark. I'm it's like, so but... easy. <laughs> it just sits there. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. One day you'll get a text saying, oh, something sold. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what nice right. awesome and do you sell mainly like women's fashions or all over the board no just women's items um I do a little bit of vintage okay oh, but a lot of it's you know like preppy casual and mostly boho I love boho so very cool lots of kimonos I was gonna say yeah any like dresses kimonos I love yeah boho kimonos oh my gosh I just think it flatters every body type yes Absolutely. and hides a lot of the things that we don't like <laughs> it's just like effortlessly chic yeah. okay, there you go there you go maybe that's my, my name should have been <laughs> <laughs> well definitely yeah use that in every cat and description <laughs> effortlessly chic <laughs> nice okay a lot of boho stuff that's very fun and that's very like hip and trendy too that's yes. really good nice so how many items do you have in your closet like about guesstimate I don't need you know exact numbers you're gonna laugh at me but right now I only have 111 
in my closet. Yeah. A lot of people are like, you only have 111. But Allison, all the I'm stuff that I have is in my bedroom. Okay. My death pile is in the bedroom. In all the in your bedroom. Yes. Okay. So, so it's contained there. It is contained. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, describe it. Is it in the closet, floor, on furniture? Like what are we what are we looking yes. at? <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, I have a clothing rack with okay. all the items that I've already steamed and pressed and ready to take photos of. And then I have about eight different bins inside of my closet. Okay. I would say three of them I have listed and the others need to be listed. Okay. So. Okay. And do you have, so you have like some kind of separation between listed stuff and unlisted Yes. So like the three that are listed are like, you know, I, I label them, you know, listed and the rest I already know those are the ones that I'm slowly going through. Yes. And what does that look like? Kind of walk me through your process. So like you open a bin and then what happens? Surprise. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> open the bin and there's Here's a surprise. The yeah. <laughs> oh, look, when did I buy this? Oh, maybe four months ago. <laughs> A walk down memory lane, right? Yes. <laughs> I remember when I purchased this. Yep. My dog is it going to uh, do a squeaky toy, so I don't mind the squeaky noise. That's fine. Every time I do a live show, every time I talk to somebody, he gets excited and yep. he'll just play. So <laughs> you've got to be part of, you know, what's going on. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, they have to be, especially even my daughter. Thank goodness she's sleeping now. She, if like people are up, she has to be up. She loves to just like hey guys what's going on <laughs> you know she's the little mini box in the background yeah <laughs> right always <laughs> all right so let's see so you open a box or a bin or whatever it is and then do you hang them steam them photo them i go through stages okay strange like uh, I'll buy everything I'll get really excited and like oh I'm gonna go ahead and list everything that I have you know but then life happens and so mm -hmm. we'll sit there but the stuff that I have on my on my rack is the stuff that's like I guess in season that I know that's gonna sell immediately so I'll have that on the rack have about maybe 30 pieces on there okay. the stuff in the bins they just sit there until it's time for them to, you know, to upgrade to the rack. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So they stay in the bin and then when it's time, then they get to the rack and then things happen and then they go in a done bin. Yes. Okay. Awesome. And I totally forgot to ask you, do you have, are you part-time, full-time? Do you have like another side gig? I would say I'm full-time here and full-time at my work at home job. It's good that I work at home because during, you know, my down times or during lunchtime, I'm able to take photos and, and do measurements and maybe steam some, some clothes while I have time. But yeah, yeah. No. I mean, it's hard to do part-time reselling yeah. unless it's just your stuff. I, I figured that out. There's, I don't really think there's part-time. Like how I feel like now time? everything is just, there's no, you know, it used to be like, oh, I'm part-time this and part-time that. Cause that would make a whole, but now everything's like, well, I'm a full-time this and I'm a full-time that and I'm a full-time this. Like we right. just have so many things to do. And yes, a reselling, even like you said, even if you are part-time, it can, it can be full-time <laughs> very quickly. Right. Very, very quickly. Okay. So you have also a full-time job. Okay. So you got, you got a lot going on and you have a family. I do. Well, I have a daughter. She's in college right now. Nice. So a lot of the, the money that I get goes towards her college. Right now she's in community college, which is a lot cheaper than a university, but absolutely make sure that there's going to be no bills coming <laughs> when she graduates that's really wonderful of you like that gift to your child is just unlike any other in my opinion but that's coming from a former teacher so I digress oh thank you <laughs> and I'm a single mom I've been raising her solo since she was two and a half wow. so I've always known to hustle <laughs> pretty much man okay so I love that this is our because you are I feel like the perfect 
I feel like everyone can relate to you, right? Because you have, you're reselling full-time, you have another job that you do full-time, and you're a single mom on top of that. I mean, that's a lot to handle. So I have to do photography. I have my own photography business. Okay. So (laughs) that one is part-time. That one is seasonal. That one is officially part-time. That one, yes. (laughs) I've actually put that aside to part-time because Poshmark has been so successful for me. Nice. Yeah. I used to be like just the the fill-in full-time, but that's on the back burner now. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So do you feel like with listing, what would be your like ideal listing rate or maybe like routine? What would make you happy? If I could consistently list at least three to five a day. Okay. And that's honestly all you really need. I was actually talking to someone earlier today um, about eBay specifically. I said, listen, three is great. Even two on eBay. Right. Um, But, and three to five a day, people, they hear that. And it's this weird psychological thing where it's like, oh, well, that's not enough. So I won't do anything. And it's like, well, hold on. (laughs) Well, that doesn't, you know, really make sense. Three to five a day is, I think, a perfect way to either maintain or just start because it really does add up quickly. You know, you do five a day for five days and math, you got 25. (laughs) So what do you feel like is kind of holding you back from getting there? I will power. I mean, I, March was good. Mm-hmm. I did a lot of three per day and I actually sold 23 items in my closet in March was, and that was amazing for me because it hasn't been that way for, for a long time. I think I get sometimes caught up on live sales. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to save all these things for unlisted live sales. That way I don't have to list everything and it'll go away faster, you know? And so I had that mentality of just letting it sit and wait until my next live show. Mm. But, you know, March, I only did three lives. So what does that give me? A whole bunch of piles of clothes just sitting okay. here still. So I'm trying to figure out the best pattern for me, my busy mm. work life. Um, I know just sticking with that three maybe accountability partners would be great hey did you list those three today because I know that some people are like I'll be your accountability partner mm-hmm. but they don't really do anything they just you know I know it's... All, be your partner but and especially when it's another reseller it can be like did you list them no did you no <laughs> right? yeah. like, okay oh well <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> oh well yeah so it you know it can be it's hard to I mean, it's not a secret that listing is hard and it's work, right? A lot of people try to portray reselling as this like easy gig where you can just make extra money, but it is work. Uh, we're, you know, if you're listing for your closet, preparing for a show, like it is a lot of work. So how do you like, generally, do you feel like you're a moderately paced lister or like a slow lister? Like, does it take you a long time? How do you feel your pace is? I I believe it's moderate. It used to be really slow because I would just, what I would do is I would take a whole bunch of photos. It's like, okay, I took all the photos of everything Mm -hmm. and laid them all out. But I didn't do anything with those photos or the laid out clothes. It was just sitting there for like a week or two (laughs) and then it would grow and then it it would hide underneath the newly acquired items. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I think listing consistently, just giving myself a number instead of just saying, oh, today I'm going to take photos. Today I'm going to list because if I have to do all of that all at once, that is so overwhelming. Yeah, definitely. So overwhelming. So I think just mm-hmm. consistently putting it in my mind, mm-hmm. hey, I'm going to list these three. I have drafts right now. Mm-hmm. I have about 13 drafts. I can easily do it. But I don't know. Sometimes it's just like starting is the hardest part, but you don't want to. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, starting is abs. That's why I always say like just three, even two. If that's too much, one. 
because starting truly is the hardest part. I remember, you know, back in high school, homework, oh my God, really annoying. And then once you started it, you're like, okay, you know, you're, you're in it. So it, you, it, so it's not as bad. So even if it's okay, just one a day, I'm just going to do one because most likely you do one, you're going to do another one, right? It, it just like, you're going to be like, well, I did one. All right, let me do another. <laughs> so usually just that first initial one is like the really, really hard one. And then you're kind of in the groove and then you can stop. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. And then I think also I'm a big perfectionist. I think that has to do with schoolwork too. Wanting to make sure everything is right. Want to make sure the pricing is right. Oh, mm -hmm. so I'm going to like this. Oh, let me go and look at other people's comps. Oh, a lot of people still have this in their closet. Are they going to buy it for me? Like all those things just go into your head and you're just like, oh my gosh, maybe I'll just set this aside because it's not a cool enough item mm. to put on. But yet again, it's still there. and It's still sitting there. Yeah, so. I definitely feel that. And I, and I wonder too, since you are a photographer, um, do you enjoy photographing clothes? I do actually, yes. Okay, um, that's good. <laughs> everything is streamlined. I use the same wall. Um, there's natural light coming from the window. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have looked at my closet lately, but everything just, everything looks the same. Mm -hmm. I think it streamlines the closet very well. And that's another thing too. Sometimes the lighting is not good in my eyes, not perfect. So I'll have to wait for the perfect light because it is natural light. Okay. On that I can it's definitely see. Perfect. Yeah. And you, I'm sure, I mean, all resellers, we've definitely all gained an eye for light and shadows, but especially if you're a professional, that's <laughs> gotta be really difficult. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Struggles. <laughs> Struggles of being a reseller. I, just, I even looked at someone and was like, I even, I was like, how much would it be? to pay somebody to list all of this for me. And I was like going on all these like sites, like freelance sites of people that actually do it, but they're overseas and they would need your information. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not that desperate, but those things pop in my head quite often. Oh yeah. I, when I first started, um, I realized quickly that people didn't like listing and I didn't really mind writing descriptions. And I actually did that for a while. I wrote titles and descriptions for people and I edited their photos. And then I was like, this is way too much work. And because I, like, I only charge a dollar per listing. I was like, what oh, are okay. you doing? I was going to say, don't do it for free, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, definitely not free. But yeah, I mean, it's, you know, even it's, it's a lot of work. So yeah. is it the, so is, all right. So the photos can be, um, Maybe we want to be a little perfectionist with the lighting and make sure everything is good. I think that's understandable, again, because you are a photographer. So do you ever, like, edit the photos? Is that a no-no or is that okay? I don't. No, I don't edit the photos. They're just how it is. You just, yeah, because you're, they're just great because you're you. So for <laughs> other people. <laughs> so I mean... for, for other non-photographer photographers photographers, photographers. <laughs> you go. That should be, I'm a photographer <laughs> um I use an app it's only available on iPhone it's really stupid I hate that they do that but it's called pick tap go and because I also do so I actually do something weird I turn off the lights and I just use my natural lighting um and then if it's too dark which it usually is I just go in there and brighten it and it really is I thought it would wash them out. Everyone said, no, it doesn't wash them out. I didn't believe it till I saw it. Uh, I'm a huge fan. That has helped a lot with me because the same, if, if natural lighting, if it's cloudy, I'm SOL, you know? What is it called? I'll, I'll write that down. Yeah, definitely. Like, that's what I was like, I don't know. She's a photographer. Is that like kosher? Are we allowed to edit photos? <laughs> like, pick tap go. Pick tab or tap? Tap. tap. Going to download it and go right now. It's a good little. It takes a second to figure out like what buttons to click, but once you get it, it's super easy. And yeah, I'm a big fan, especially with again the natural lighting. 
Yeah, and then I also have this DIY um, little mini studio for my purses or wallets or mm -hmm. shoes. I just use, it's funny, I use Dollar Tree foam board. Mm -hmm. I use two of them and I'll just set it up on my dining table with my ring light and like the natural light coming in and it's the perfect little studio spot. It looks seamless and it cost me two dollars. Isn't that the best? It, it's the that. best. <laughs> That's the only ones that I will actually edit, you know, just like crop mm -hmm. it or adjust the lighting, but yeah, it yeah. seemed to work. Yeah. Now, do you prefer, because I know some people like hate listing shoes or they hate listing dresses. Is there a category that really, you know, you're not a fan of, or is it just everything in general is like, okay, let's just, it's all work. <laughs> it's all work. <laughs> let's just say that. Yeah. Okay. I think if I didn't work during the day too, I would have a lot more time, but just trying to like, trying to make sure I have enough time for everything without being overwhelmed. Cause I do get overwhelmed. And a couple of months ago, I was like, you know what? There's some stuff that's not really sellable on Poshmark. So I did a donation pile and then I did a, a sell pile for like the buy, sell trade stores and just gave it to them. And I got like maybe 25% of my death pile down. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Just stuff that I think just like, eh, no one wants this. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're not <laughs> feeling it, right, that's going to come across in our listing. Yeah. Um, or in our energy, even I sold a stupid skirt today. You can, I'm calling it stupid. Obviously I don't <laughs> like it. I sold it for $8. Duh. Like, of course, but <laughs> like I already decided that in my mind. Um, okay. So with, yeah, if we want to do three to five a day, I'm thinking is since you do work from home, is it one of those jobs where it's like completely different every day or do you have a routine of some kind? It's a routine. Yeah. Okay. So I find, especially if you just do, you know, like, like I said, three where it's, you know, it'll maybe take you 20 minutes, let's say like, uh, you know, give or take whatever. Um, <laughs> if you could somehow attach that to something else you do every day. So like you kind of attach this new habit onto an old one. Um, I feel like that helps. Like I know I had to start taking um, uh, a pill at night I say, how am I going to do this? So I just put it next to my toothbrush, brush my teeth. I take my pill. So this way I don't have to remember the new habit. Like I already kind of smushed it onto an old one. So what would you think a habit of listing would attach to? Be anything that you do that just might like trigger it in your brain. Um, I mean, maybe it's something with a camera, maybe... Uh, or even like after lunch, if you, you know, know that you have, again, you know, a certain amount of time, you don't want to put yourself in like a time crunch. That would be unpleasant. Right. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> but definitely. If you feel like, you know, I could probably squeeze in. And then it, again, if you just photograph one, Hey, okay. We did one better than none. Right. I do have a lot photographed. It's just, mm -hmm. Sending it over to the Poshmark land. Right. <laughs> is my problem. Yeah. Out of the draft folder and into the, yes. into the real like world. I, said, I have 13 drafts right now, just sitting there looking pretty. <laughs> You're like, aren't these gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pretty drafts. So, and so the photographs are all done. It's just all like the extra info. It's the listing part. Yeah. The description. I think descriptions sometimes can get tricky too. And then comps. Mm -hmm. like if I don't find something, I have to guesstimate. Right. I don't, I don't really see like what other people have or like, I, I can't even find the brand. A lot mm -hmm. of vintage is like that too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. And I recently kind of went through a little bit of that myself um, with I got a bunch of swimwear and I was like, okay, I am relatively the same. I want, you know, I think we all want our listings to be like perfect. And yeah. I had to let that go because I had so much to list and I had more coming. I was like, I don't want to end up drowning myself. So I said, okay, you know what? I will look for stock photos later. So I just listed all the stuff. And honestly, I'm actually 
kind of happy with how they look without stock photos. I'm still going to look for the photos, but it, it just allowed me to get them listed, have people start liking them, and then I can add the stock photo if, you know, you need to adjust the price or, you know, whatever it is. I feel like just get it up there. You never know. Some people, they don't, you know, especially if it's that item that they've been looking for, they have the search saved and your item pops up. They're not even going to care. They're just going to buy it. <laughs> right. And typically what happens is like I had a pair of shoes that I had for maybe about four months and they're brand new. I got them at a buy, sell trade store during their semi-annual clearance for like a dollar. Oh and gosh. these are really expensive shoes. Oh. And I put it on there and within, I would say within like two days, they sold. <laughs> and then I kicked myself at the butt. I'm like, why don't I do this with every item? Right. What's wrong with me? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Well, once you, you know, kind of, it's, it's, it can be aggravating, but it's a good lesson when you start looking at other people's closets and you're like, those aren't as good as mine. My photos <laughs> are better. Why are these selling? Because they just haven't listed. <laughs> you know, like, right. That's it. And it can be extremely aggravating when someone just like throws a dirty shirt on a bed and it sells for 50. You're like, are you yeah, kidding? Oh God, it drives me nuts. Or especially on the floor. Please don't. Oh, yeah. And the carpet is like, you can see the carpet and it's not, the carpet's not so nice. You could tell, you, could, you just know a dog lives there. Like you could just see like all the right. dirt. Yeah. You're like, how many animals are here? That's only $80. <laughs> but, you know, if it's something someone wants, Okay. <laughs> that's it so sometimes sometimes just letting go of that perfectionism and just like hey I'm just going to put it up there because if someone wants it now I want them to buy mine so here you go you're going to make me uh list all these 13 items after this. <laughs> that's right <laughs> we're going to end you be like <laughs> um another so I usually I, Every day is different. Like I might photograph three items in the morning. It might be 25, but let's just say I photograph 10. I usually photograph 10 in the morning and then in the evening while I'm watching TV um, or doing something on the computer, I'll like do as long as it's something mindless. I know some people listen to podcasts. Uh, you could listen to YouTube videos like this one, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just something to occupy your brain you know, so it's not like, oh my God, I'm just listing like, you know, little something else to distract you. And that for me, I find just works because I'm just blah, 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 blah. Right. Yeah. Normally I'll put on a show that I like and then I get sucked into the show and then I won't list. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do, I go on YouTube sometimes and I'm like, I want to see like their inventory organization and I'll put that on there. And just to get ideas, because I have a garage, I want to utilize that garage for all my stuff because I want to get more inventory. And it's, it's really weird. I don't know if I talked to you previously. I think I did. I told you I had counted my inventory at one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had like three, I, I actually physically counted everything in hopes that it would give me more, you know, drive to list all of it. I think there was like, what, 300 items. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I think also that's another thing. I like to shop. I want to keep adding to the collection, but mm -hmm. I only have a certain amount of bins. Mm -hmm. Having that in my garage, all like organized, I think it would be less overwhelming and I'll list more in my head I think that way so. no absolutely because when you have an organized space and you're happy to be there listing does become a lot less of a burden yeah. and you eliminate those questions of oh crap well I photographed it where do I put it <laughs> <laughs> like if we can eliminate that stuff then it just becomes a lot easier right and so definitely yes. garage organization bin Seems like a fun project. I just need to to rent a man. Rent a man to build it. <laughs> no, I'd 
feel like there's an app for that. Like <laughs> <laughs> rent, a, rent a husband. Seriously. Or like TaskRabbit. Uh, task is TaskRabbit still around? God, that was well, like, serious. There actually is something like that. I know. Yeah. I mean, this was years ago. I don't know if it, maybe it changed. There's got to be something somewhere. People that need money. Awesome. So. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like if anyone watching this video wants to help her build some shelves in the garage. <laughs> like, I will rent you. <laughs> just for the day. Just for shelves. Yeah, my shirt says, call back. Oh my God. <laughs> call me back. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. I wear these on dates. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That'd be funny if he's like looking at your chest and you're like, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want you eyes up here, but chest down yeah. here. But oh, please yeah. read and then return. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got okay, so garage goal. I let and I that's actually one of my other questions. It's like, what was your kind of reselling business goal? And I think that's a fantastic goal to get to a point where you can have your inventory organized so that yeah it, it makes you happy yes that's and less stressed yes and less stressed like so opening my closet seeing all those vents i'm just like ah. yeah <laughs> it's always could, in my room right right yeah we don't want it like always in our eyes you know yeah our vision whatever so let's see so we're still okay so we got the gold down we got this yeah draft okay also i was going to ask you what show do you watch or shows when you list and then sometimes you get sucked into the tv show <laughs> uh murders in the building is it is it called murders in the building i want to see that i actually started two days ago on that i'm already on season two <laughs> this is why i have not listed <laughs> you know fall asleep on the couch watching it it's really i've heard good. such good things about that one i definitely want to watch it it's a good one yeah that's on hulu okay and i also because watch I, a lot of australian tv shows and british tv shows so cool yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we watched um wentworth that's good so good that's so much better than orange is the new black right yeah so for everyone who's like what is Wentworth it is the Australian Orange is the New Black and like I'm an Orange is the New Black fan but Wentworth this one's like darker like grittier I think so darker so oh my good. gosh like, I love so all the characters <laughs> oh I will send you all the list of all the new shows that came out there Australian ones yes really please cool. do yeah, yeah yeah no we we love that oh my gosh that really? would be great. okay and then do you have a show that like you kind of watch on repeat like how you know some people do the office or something like that my guilty pleasure is pretty little liars girl so i good. i watched and the whole series <laughs> ghost whisperer i don't oh. know what it is it's just like that it's yeah. like comforting rainy night but also not like bloody total i it's totally just, know what you mean supernatural type of stuff <laughs> yeah that's awesome I think that especially maybe like yeah pretty little liars or the ghost whisperer um yeah like you said it's not something that was like really engaging you know we're like oh my yeah. gosh but it's enough to kind of like occupy that space in your brain but it'll still allow you to do some listing yeah because if you put on a really good show like you're gonna watch the show <laughs> Yeah. I do put on, when I edit photos, I'll put on film scores to help me concentrate. Oh, so maybe I should do that for my, for my listing. Okay. That is really cool. That is such a, and like, talk <laughs> about creating a mood. Oh, it's, it's complete mood. It's oh, so good. Gosh. What, um, like films do you pull from? Jurassic Park. <laughs> nice. Cool. Oh my God. That's awesome. Oh my, um, you know, just Beetlejuice, Jurassic Park, just like classic film scores. It's on Pandora and it just plays all of them. It's so nice. Love that. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I feel, you know, you're a photographer, you're artsy, like you need that, like 
that art muse kind of inspo. Yes. <laughs> I also have my record player. Sometimes I'll pull out records if I'm in the mood and, but then you have to like switch them a lot. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Okay. So let's see. I, just the last thing. So we want to do three to five a day. Do we have an idea of when that might occur or maybe it'll be different every day? Um, or maybe we set a reminder on the phone, something like that. I'll put reminders on my phone. Mm -hmm. I know that I want to do it. So maybe I should. <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe give it a try. Because I put alarms. I have like six alarms to wake me up. So why don't I put six alarms to, to list? <laughs> yeah, you know? I do multiple reminders. Cause I know I'm like, okay, I'll schedule this reminder for Tuesday and then I'll schedule it again for Thursday and then for Saturday, because I know me. <laughs> right. So maybe I guess, you know, sometimes I'll just try to do it during my lunch break, but then, you know, I want to relax during my lunch break. Yes. So that doesn't really happen. So maybe, maybe right after work, once I'm already in the work zone would be a good mm. time just to set aside like 30 minutes of my time. Yeah. And that would be nice because most likely you're going to be drained from your job job. Yeah. So reselling might be a little reprieve for your brain. Like, oh, finally, I get to, I get to list. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting all day. <laughs> We're waiting for this moment. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, is it five o'clock yet? I want to list. Yeah. <laughs> I've penned a letter to you listing items. Right. <laughs> I like it. I think that's a good, and again, yeah, like, you know, what you say here today is not carved in stone. If you at the end of the day are like, oh my God, I am tired. Okay. We'll pick another time. You know, like it does not have to be the same every day because our lives are definitely not the same every day. <laughs> right. Yes. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. I had a blast talking to you. So, so much fun. Yes, absolutely. I think you giving me these little tips. It's good to have someone else's perspective. You know, absolutely. As as you know, you think that you're doing all the things, but yeah. Thank you for all the tips and of thank course. you for letting me be a part of it. And thank you for trusting me too and for being my first guest. That's amazing. Um, yeah, just thank you so much for said for trusting me and doing it. And I think you brought up a good point too. Like we do know what to do. It's just, we need someone else to tell us. Yes. I wish there was a little, maybe you, oh, let's be millionaires. Um, develop an accountability app. I. Resellers. Ooh, <laughs> accountability app. That is a good idea. If anyone watching knows how to do that, <laughs> let us know. We'll cut you in. I'm Dean. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. And if you're watching, you can be, you know, Nicole's accountability partner on Instagram. Again, on Instagram, she is at posh N V and on, no, I'm sorry. That's in, I said Instagram. Oh yeah. Instagram is posh N V and Poshmark is shop with N V not shop with N V like E N V Y but shop with the letter N <laughs> with the letter B. It's Nicole Valentine. So there you go. <laughs> That's name too. I like that. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> I will let you go get to those drafts. Yay. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it. I'm You're pumped do out. Thank Yay. you so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. Catch us next week with another guest and more death files. Bye-bye.